I just hate waking up and finding you gone. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just, I got up so early and uh, thought I'd pop over home, you know, and get some of my things. Any news on even Ian's baby? No, no, not yet. Well, I'll drop by later and check in on them. After last night, I thought you would have slept in a bit. Yeah, you know, you would you would think that after escaping a fiery inferno and watching a vampire be vaporized, I'd sleep like a log. But? It's nothing. I, just, I had a really bad dream. About Caleb? I'm sure you're not the only one, Liz. I know. I, I'm sure. It's just I think my head to beat the absolute worst. Well, maybe it would help if you got it off your chest. No, no, thanks. I, I um, don't really want to talk about it. No, I thought there wasn't anything you couldn't tell me. Well, there's not, but um, I don't want to talk to you about this. Lucy, tell me. The dream was about Livy and Livy being pregnant with Caleb's baby. Just the thought of my daughter being pregnant by Caleb. I know, I'm so sorry. It, it is probably nothing. You know, just watching Caleb turn to dust and then even Ian's baby on the way probably all got mixed up in my head. Yeah, well, nonetheless, this is an image I'd like to repress. I know, me too, but I, I can't control my dreams. You're right, you're right. I, I'm sure we're all just dealing with the aftermath of Caleb's death, and, and talking about it is healthy. Lucy, this is this is something I don't want to be shared with Livy. No, of course not. I would never breathe a word, Doc. Kevin Collins. Okay, I'm on my way. It's the office. I have to go. Lucy, remember, it was just a dream, a very bad dream. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. I love you. I love you. Okay, see ya. Oh, yeah. How long have you been standing there? Long enough. I came in through the den. You dreamed that I was pregnant by Caleb. God, Lucy, what if that's true? Saying it's actually possible you could be pregnant with Caleb's baby? Well, I, I, I slept with him, Lucy. I was out of my mind. What am I going to do? Uh, i tell you what we're not going to do. We're, Livy, really, we're not going to panic here. What if I have some demon seed growing inside of me? No, we're also not going to jump to creepy conclusions. Well, can you please just tell me about your dream? Uh, why, don't, why don't we sit down and have some No, breakfast? Lucy, please, tell me what happened, please. It was, it, what happened was a, a, a horrible bad night. Oh, Lucy, just tell me, okay. please. I, all right, you know what? Here it goes. I, I was dreaming that I came home and uh you were sitting in this chair but it wasn't uh that kind of chair it was a rocking chair and you were rocking back and forth and you were singing singing a lullaby and i walked over and i looked down at you and i could see you were pregnant and then you looked up at me and you said that you were carrying caleb's baby uh, oh god lucy i think i'm gonna be sick no no Livy, listen it, it, it's just my wacky insane reaction to fear of losing someone to some winged thing someone i care about no, so no, much no but your dreams always have meaning right no no ab absolutely not not always besides didn't we learn caleb can't have any children and that's why he wanted his baby come on no but what if he was wrong or he was lying this dream has to mean something maybe that's why i've been feeling so strange maybe i really am pregnant We're having a baby Did I hear you right? We're having a baby? No, no, uh, we weren't talking about that. N why would we? No, of course not. We weren't talking about having a baby. Oh, Lizzie, I know what I heard. <sighs> What's going on, Livy? Okay, um, Jack's right, Lucy. No more lies. Um, yeah, I, I, I admit I was wondering if I just might be pregnant. Wow. Oh, my God. I mean, I, 
I thought we were careful. He's... You're not talking about us. You're talking about Caleb. Jack, I am so sorry. It seems like I, I, I always wind up hurting you, and I hate that. No. It's okay. I know what happened happened, because Caleb had a hold on you. God, I can't believe this is happening. How stupid I've been. But I thought Caleb couldn't have children. Yeah, he said that, Jack, but he's told so many lies. I don't even know what's true anymore. Now, what if I am carrying Caleb's baby? What if there is something evil growing inside of me? No. Libby, don't even think that. Wait. Hey, you two, come on. We're jumping way ahead of ourselves here. We don't even know if this is possible at all. Well, I have to know, Lucy, because if it's true, if there is a part of him still with me, I have to know. I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll run out and I'll get you a pregnancy test, okay? Okay. 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 Hey. Whatever this is, whatever happens, we'll face it together. Right. Whatever happens. Look, I'm... I'm gonna get us both something cold to drink. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Jack, I'm so scared. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Tempted. took the test, but I don't know if I'm pregnant or not because it just, it, it, it takes a few minutes. So we're gonna just take a deep breath and relax, okay? How can I relax when I'm about to find out if I'm having hey, a vampire's hey, baby or not? Calm down. Jack, I feel like I'm on the edge of a cliff waiting to find out if I should jump off. Whatever happens, we're gonna get through this. Yeah, well, I can't have Caleb's baby. I can't. Um... I think time's up. It's negative, I think. I mean, am I, am I reading this right, Lucy? Please, Lucy, please Lucy. tell me I'm reading it right. It's negative, you're right. <laughs> it's negative. You're oh, not pregnant thank you with so Caleb's much. baby and see my dream was wrong. This is terrific. Here, listen. Um, oh, uh, I got things I need to do and uh, you need to talk, okay? I'll call you later. Well, I just came to see if everything's okay, and looks like everything's okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and take off. Now, this is really great news, Libby. Yeah. No, no, Jack, don't go, please. No, I, I really need to get to the shop. Can't we talk about this? Jamal needs me right now, and he's been there for me lately, and, and we're really backed up at the shop. So I'm, I'm just gonna... No, no, Jack, don't do this. Don't you dare push me away. If we've learned anything from all this, it's, it's not shut each other out, okay? We can't do that. Clivy, I'm not doing that. I just have to get to the show. What you need to do is tell me what you're feeling. All that matters is that you're okay. Oh, and you're not bothered by the fact that I, I thought I was pregnant with Caleb's child? He manipulated you. I slept with him, Jack. You had no choice. We can't pretend that Caleb never happened. We can't just make this go away by ignoring it, Libby, Jack. I don't want to think or talk about you and Caleb. Yeah, well, I think it's best that we do. Best? Libby, nothing makes this good. I can't stand the thought of you being with him, of him kissing you, of him touching you, of him calling you his wife. Every time I think about it, it makes me sick. Is that what you want to hear? I'm sorry for going off on you. We shouldn't have started rehashing all that personal stuff between you and Caleb. No, it... 
Jack, it's okay. Jack, I, th I think it's better that we talk about it and, and get it out because then it can't come between us. Yeah, I don't, I don't want anything coming between us, Jack. I love you. It was just so hard watching you slip away from me. It was like you were a thousand miles away and I couldn't get to you. Yeah, but the worst part is Caleb's still with me. Well, what do you mean? Every time you touch me, I can't help but wonder if you're disgusted or if you're cringing. I could never feel that way about you. If I cut you out of my life, it'd be like cutting off my arm. Baby, I love you so much. Jack, I was so afraid. I just thought if I were pregnant that I'd lose you forever. And that scared me more than any vampires could scare. 